How you doing folk? How you doing? Charlie out and about. A couple of jobs today today. I've got to go and pick up my, my new glasses, my reading glasses. So that's what I'm I'm on there on it at the moment. And today, the 25th of October, marks 168 years since the Battle of Balaclava, or the Thin Red Line, as it's known. And there's a there's a man who won the Victoria Cross. Uh, look now, Sergeant Dave Mackay, and he's buried in Les Mahago. Unfortunately, sadly, he's in the pauper section. But they've erected a stone up in Les Mahago for Sergeant Dave Mackay. So I'm going to go up and clean it and lay a poppy cross uh, to mark the Battle of Balaclava of the Thin Red Line. So, come with me. Well, there you go. My new glasses. First job, first part done. You see they've got a green tint this time. That's for the Auntie Glare. So I'm heading up now to Les Mahago to pay homage to the 93rd Highlanders and uh, especially Sergeant Dave Mackay who won the Victoria Cross at Lucknow but there's a lovely wee monument being erected for him so I'll go up there, clean it and lay a poppy cross so the day marks uh, 168 years since the Battle of Balaclava when uh, it was deemed the Thin Red Line a lot of people will know it as. That's because the reporter at the time, I think he was from the Times, says when the jocks formed up, it just looked like a line of steel with their bayonets. And it became known as a thin red line. So that's where I'm going that's where I'm going just now, heading for Les Mahago to pay homage. And at the battle, Sir Colin Campbell. He was in charge of the 93rd Highlanders. He said to his men, there is no retreat from here. You might die where you stand. And good old squaddy humour, the answer to that was, time's an affy wagon due. <laughs> no, the, the answer to that was, aye sir, if need be. So there we go, an affy wagon never appeared. So, come meet me, tell us my ego. We'll see you all soon. Charlie, out in a boot. I'm up in Les Mahago. I've come up to clean the stone of Dave Mackay. And then you thought, I don't know, does PC. As you can see the stone needs to be, needs to be clean. So I'm going to clean it up and I'll show you exactly where it is. And there's an A uh, Royal Scots Fusilier in here for William Kirk. I'll lay a pop across for him as well. I'll get us a wee clean now. Well I've made it up to Les Mahago Cemetery. You see just above there it says to the glorious dead from the parish who fell in the Great War. Just as you go under the arch, you've got your roll of honour. People from Blackwood, Kirkfield Bank, other names, and other signs here as well. It's a, it's a lovely cemetery. It's kept really, really clean and tidy. I'm going to go down first now to William Kirk. I found his grave a uh, few years ago when I was up looking for Dave Mackay. I found him, there's a wee poppy's grown. So he's in the corner here. He's there. Private William Kirk, Royal Scots Fusiliers, 7th of May, 1916. Thanks for your service. And I'll lay a wee poppy cross here. And that'll be it ready for remembrance.
that's William Kirk. I'm not sure you where Dave Mackay is buried. VC. And it was actually an, an old guy for the houses across the road there. You can see that that put me in mind where it was. He actually, yeah, an ex-Navy man, he got it all up and running. So Dave Mackay was born on the 23rd of November 1831 in Case Ness and he died on the 18th of November 1880 at Les Mahago, at the moment. He took part in the Battle of Balaclava, which today, uh, the 25th October, marks 168 years since that battle. And he, he, he locked now, he was in the, the Battle of Luck now, and he took the colours for the enemy and uh, he won his Victoria Cross. And uh, there was a citation in the London Gazette, and it was dated Christmas Eve, 24th of December, 1858, and it reads, For great personal gallantry in capturing the enemy colour after the most obstinate resistance at Circumdraft, Loch now on the 16th of November, 1857. He was severely wounded afterwards at the capture of the Shanaf, and this was ele and, uh, his VC was elected by the private soldiers of the regiment of the 93rd Highlanders. And as I say, this commemorates 168 years of the Battle of Battle of Clava. It was fought in this day in 1854 during the Crimean War at the port of Sebastopol, and it's known as the Thin Red Line. Because uh, the reporter at the time says it, it just looked like a, a sea, a red sea of steel with their bayonets. So it became known as the Thin Red Line. And Sir Colin Campbell, he told his men once he formed them up, there is no retreat from here, you must die where you stand. In which the answer was aye sir, if need be. So anyway, this is a, the, the stone that they've marked for Dave Mackay. Unfortunately you can see here in this horseshoe that I'm in, this is the pauper's graves. So Dave Mackay and his wife are in here. This was people that couldn't pay pay the fund to the, the parish. They were uh, they were buried in here. That's why you'll get no graves here. So he's in here somewhere. It just goes in a horseshoe. And I've cleaned the stone, gave it a polish. And there, there's the, the stone for Sergeant Dave Mackay, VC, 83rd Highlanders, 1831, 1880. A great personal guarantee. Caps it there, you go, there's his citation. It was put in there, there on the Gazette, so I'll leave a couple of property crosses here. Now I'll be ready for I'll put them in. I'll be ready for remembrance. And there's obviously the bonnet that they were in. And uh, the ninety third cap badge. Ninety first, ninety third, and then obviously it became Erdgail and Southern Highlanders. We'll get a wee tune. Or Carbon no more. So sleep well, Dave McKay. Never forgotten. So it's a, as I say, it's a lovely wee place. If you ever come and visit, you'll know exactly. You'll know exactly where to go for the stone for Dave McKay. The first time, before, as I say, I found a wee navy man. I came in here and I was looking for it and I asked the, the grass cutters. The guy didn't know what I was talking about. He didn't know what I was talking about, which was a shame. And then I uh, found the Navy guy and he says, no, I'll show you exactly where it is. He was the one that uh, sort of uh, got it all up and running. 
I think the Argyle Association had something to do with the, the stone getting erected as well. I'm going to have a wee walk about. It's a Commonwealth grave. I know Willie Kirk's there. So thanks for coming, Mamie. Respect. Respect to our own. Dave Mackay. Sleep well, Argyle. I've never forgotten. Nay, a blood of Scarus sands pure. Must we forget the fearless? The Highland Light Infantry, HLI. Adamson. 2nd of December, 1815. He's the only 18. So I've brought an air pop across with me, so I'm going to leave that bin for this point. Excuse me a minute. There he goes. I left a wee pop across from my granda. Jimmy Freak being served in the, the HLI. The Highland Light Infantry. He's a, he's a wee boxer. He was a sparring partner at Benny Lynch. We don't need to become more of a champion. So there's my wee granda. A beautiful big monument. Charles David Scott Chapel. With Kenan. Lives in the Hussars. And it was ours. Calvary man. There we go, that's me. Some beautiful stones here. And I'm looking for ones now with skull and bones on them now because I know, I know what it means. And I can tell you in the video what it means. Anybody watching my out and videos, I'll see what it means on my, one of my videos. Some of the old stones found in. Safety notice. So I'm glad I came up today. I'm glad I, I beat the rain. I managed to beat the rain. I just wanted to show my respect. I could spend all day in all grave, grave cemeteries, bed quiet. I wonder about look at the stones, show respect. So I'll show you the stone before I leave, and I'll just remind you that this is a or this area here. This is where all the paupers are buried. They didn't have the shilling to pay the parish. Men, women and children. So it's been washed and cleaned and dried and polished. It's looking okay again. I'll be ready for remembrance. I'll be at Bodwell Park, as usual, because it helps say Robert's name's there now. Bodwell Park. And there's a new name to add to it. Sadly, a, a boy in the engineers attached to the Paris was killed in an exercise in, in England. 
And I'm going to see about getting his name put on the cenotaph. So the next time I come, I'll come and I'll go round the back of the other side. Me make tracks now. So thanks for watching. Charlie, out and about. Sleep well, Argyle.